In spite of some better news and data, overseas stock markets were mixed today with most going into a gentle slide. After a good run for markets over the past week, especially yesterday, it looks like there is still some nervousness regarding the US banking industry. I have mentioned a few times about the Treasury doing stress tests on the major US banks. They want to make sure that they can sustain some losses if the economy were to deteriorate. Despite just about all of the banks showing good profits in the first three months of this year, it is expected that some are going to need some more cash, perhaps even 10 out of the 19 that have been tested. Results are out late on Thursday night in the US, so we might see some volatility by Friday, depending on the results. Economic activity does seem to be getting a bit better in the US. Manufacturing has touched off its lows over the past two months, so we are looking for some continued strength in this area. Consumer confidence has also seen a boost over the past month, which means that people may get out and start spending again soon. While these data flows indicate that things are turning towards the positive, they are still in contraction. A little nest negative is a good way to describe it. Nevertheless, positive developments in the US, the world's largest economy, is important to the global recovery, so I will continue providing updates on this. We haven't seen the New Zealand dollar weaken much in the past week, it continues creeping up, now trying to break through 58 cents once again. Sheep and lamb is still going well. With very little in the way of supply being available at this end part of the season, there is not likely to be a big change in overseas prices. With export lamb numbers expected to be down about 23% on last year, many meat companies are just trying to fill orders for their largest buyers. This is in an effort to maintain relationships but also to make sure lamb stays on the supermarket shelf and is not substituted for other meat products. Schedule prices are still holding and are well over 50% higher than this time last year. Given the limited supply and the likelihood that there may be some competition from meat companies to get the last of the lambs, schedule prices should hold on to their current levels for the time being. However, into next season we may see some easing from those levels.